guys, it's Andrew here from East of Made Wood Splitters today and welcome back to the East of Made channel. I'm out here in the wood yard and uh, with my buddy Jeremy. Jeremy's making a TikTok, so if you don't follow us on TikTok, make sure you follow us on TikTok. If you wonder why the videos have gotten so good, the shorts, it's because Jeremy's doing them. He's really good at it. Right, Jer? Yes, sir. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm out here with the 2228. I'm going to answer a question we get asked quite a bit. Um, and it's the capacity of the log lift on one of these estimated wood splitters. Um, normally, we tell guys uh, they left 500 pounds. And if you do the math on a 500 pound block of wood, that is an incredibly large block of wood if it weighs 500 pounds. Um, truth be told, guys, uh, this becomes more of a matter of personal safety than whether or not the machine will lift it. If you can roll a log to one of these wood splitters, it's going to pick it up these are a very stable machine they will left a big load for you and uh, if you're looking at a commercial splitter most of them come with a log lift now and they're, they're a back saver guys they, they make uh they make doing those big rounds a whole lot easier um and with our log lift um it actually floats so i'll pick that up for you so you can see there's no connection between the cylinder and the log lift. So when the log lift comes down, um, if you have something underneath there, it doesn't lift. Uh, other companies have started doing uh, different systems like that, like, like this. They have hinges and stuff like that on it. So they've gotten significantly better, but this is the way that we do it. And inside here, you can see that inside each one of these pivots is a nylon bushing. So these nylon bushings, they don't need grease. And if they do wear out, they're easy to replace. There's no steel on steel contact with one of these. Um, oh geez, we built a pile of splitters. I don't know if we've really ever sent out a set of bushings that have been wore out. And we've been, been at this about eight years, a couple of thousand machines out there. So that should give you an idea of the longevity of these things. Um, to replace them, they're, I think they're 10 bucks a bush and they're not very expensive. They're not, <laughs> you're gonna be able to replace this stuff fairly uh, fairly inexpensively anyways um well guys i'll go ahead i'll fire this up i'll show you this 2228 running this stuff through i know that stuff's not uh real big like this one here might be uh might be around that 22 mark i think um but it should give you a good idea of uh of the log lift how it functions and how it works the other the other really cool thing i'll fire this up and i'll show you because this is something i think a lot of people miss too I'll just show you this because this is important too our log lift won't go much past level if you look at that that is as far up as that log lift will go so if you have a lot of wood on there if you have a big block it won't go up past that and have the block roll off the side of it or on top of you um, a lot of them will come up fairly high our, ours won't and it's just a matter of safety if you're running it and it's just a uh, i really like it too because you can, because you can roll a block into it fairly easily you can kind of run the control almost as fast as you want and it's not uh it's not like it's going to be uncontrollable um anyways guys i'll get this fired up i'll show you how it works if you haven't done so give her a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button at the bottom i'd love i'd love if you did that right jeremy <laughs> jeremy's giving her a big thumbs up
guys as you can see with those bigger rounds it uh it really makes life easy having that log left and like i said um the log left's gonna lift whatever you uh whatever you put on it i i probably wouldn't go much more than that 35 36 mark can you of course you can is it a good idea well it's, it's your matter again it's a matter of personal safety on that in that respect anyways because if piece of wood falls off that uh, you've got to be able to catch it so just be well aware of that when you're running it um anyways guys if you liked the video give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down on the bottom i really appreciate everybody's support i appreciate everybody tuning in and uh it sure does mean the world to us guys thanks a lot